Hello, Internet friends. It's Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you another Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm in Chief Architect Premiere version X14, but I believe you can do this on several uh, several versions past. I'm going to show you how to quickly uh, set up your library so that we can show trim or hide siding or any sort of facade. Let's get into it. In this case, I've got a situation where a lower roof is um, abutting the upper roof here with siding <clears throat> that has siding. And in the section view, uh, it shows that wall um, going on into the attic of this lower roof here. I've shaped this attic wall so that it covers the whole um, roof and I don't have kind of a, a uh, blank opening right here. But I want to hide this siding that's in the attic. Um, I also can use this situation for a couple other um, uh, scenarios uh, and, and I'll show you how that's done here in a moment. Um, so what I've done is I've set up a library item that I call Boral Trim, but what it is is you can do a wall material region and that's under the wall tools as a child tool. In elevation, since I can't draw walls, all of these are grayed out, but I can draw a wall material region. By default, that wall material region, the way I've got it set up, is going to be a subway tile pattern, has the label on, and has uh, these layers set up. So I'm going to delete some of these layers, and we'll set this up as... Um, you could say you could say it's uh, half an inch. Let's do that and let's go to label and I'm going to do automatic label and actually in this case I'm going to suppress the label and click OK. For last thing I'm going to do is apply a texture, a material. I don't want the paint roller. I want the spray can. So that's that. Select this wall material region and you can add it to your library. That's what I've done here, and I've named mine Boral Trim. So now I don't have to use the wall material region. I just go to my library and search for Boral Trim and drag it across my elevation here and shape it however I want. This gets rid of that siding texture that I don't want to see. So now in the elevation, the only thing I have left to do is delete this vertical line. The other great thing to use this for is, let's go to plan view. Let's look at a, oh, let's go to um, electrical. And I'm gonna put a light outside this door there let's look at an elevation of this this is the biggest reason that i started this boral trim library um, texture is to show a light block in the behind a light fixture so i can just grab that fix that uh, boral trim out of the library and draw a rectangle around the um, light. And there's my light block. I'm gonna double click on this and edit this. It's just a color bright, um, white, white texture, one inch thick. And I've got label turned off. And there's, there's our light block. Um, I've also used this in, let's take a section here. Sorry, not seeing the, oh, this is handy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. The reason I like this is that um, 
I really like to draw what's actually going to be there. So let's say I'm going to I'm going to draw a um, kick plate underneath this door. Um, I don't think I can do it. Oh yeah, it does. It does work behind the railing. Um, so I'm going to drop this down to the threshold of the door and move it over a bit. And drag it the length of this door trim. Let's line this side up with door trim. So there it works. And once again, I'm not having to clean up like um, if you zoom in right here, you can see where the siding goes between each railing. I would have to delete each of that, um, each of those lines. And instead, I just do a quick um, boral trim, what I call boral trim, um, to, to show that kick plate, which is in actuality going to happen. And it also shows up in 3D then, right there, as an option, in, as a kick plate instead of trim, or instead of siding. So, um, I think the other way that I would do this is like if you had a chimney, I, I have done this before, if you had a chimney that you drew as a wall, now a polyline solid won't work because you can't apply wall material regions to a polyline solid. I'd have to create another polyline solid to show the step flashing and counter flashing, but you could do that if you were trying to show some counter flashing up against um, say up against a gable wall uh, along here or so, you could use that, that same library material. Um, it's great because then you can paint it um, any texture or color you wish. Um, it works appropriately for the elevations and sections, gets rid of, whoops, what happened there? <laughs> uh, it gets rid of the, the texture that, um, you don't want to see, say, in the attic uh, of the siding there. Uh, so it's just a quick way to, to clean up your drawings. Hope that's helpful. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this information, please uh, leave me an encouragement. Click like down there on the video. Subscribe and hit your notification bell. And leave a comment if you have any other thoughts of how to use a... Um, I mean, you could set this up as a wall material region. You could set up some... Um, standard like tile um, that you like. Um, I can think quickly of, of another project where maybe you're doing a brick inset that is supposed to look like a window and but it's not really a window so you want to do that at a certain thickness um, and you know set up all your layers your, your uh, material layers correctly there and you could even put a herringbone pattern onto it automatically so you just quickly draw um, out of your library and it's done. So that'd be another great way to use this wall material region in your library um, objects. Just a little food for thought. Um, but anyway, I do enjoy the comments. Leave a comment below if you have any thoughts. Take care. Have a great week.